Hello, this is Diana Sescalini, and I'll be doing a recorded lecture video for uh, my 1B or managerial accounting class. This is either chapter 17 or chapter 3, depending on which textbook version you're using of this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to park myself up here in this corner, and we're going to talk about chapter 17. Now in chapter 16, we learned a little bit about uh, job costing, and chapter 17 is process. So actually, let me move myself over a little bit more. Okay. So in this chapter, we're going to be doing process manufacturing. And what happens when we use that, it's when I have a continuous production process, I'm making something and I have batches of things to make so that I'm not going to stop as I finish something. Uh, here are some examples of the different types of manufacturers who use process. Food processors. So someone making ketchup, they would use process manufacturing because each step is a process as it moves toward, toward its end product. And this is called process costing. So in ch previous chapter, we looked at job orders. Okay. This is processing. So this is very different. Okay. Here are some examples of who would use each. This was from last chapter that we talked about, uh, and this is from this chapter. So notice over here you're making very distinct products, where here you're not. You're, 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 you are making distinct products, but in order to make them, it requires a process. So the first few slides of this is just understanding the differences or comparing the two. Uh, they're similar in that they summarize product costs. Uh, they allocate factory overhead cost to products. They always use a perpetual inventory system. And for all intents and purposes, we always use first in, first out. Just remember that, first in, first out. So here's a little flow chart on these two systems. Here's what we're going to talk about. In this case, we're going to be making ice cream. And last chapter, we were making guitars. So see, here I have direct materials that go into a mixing department where I'll add direct labor and factory overhead, and then they'll move to the packaging department where I'll add more factory overhead and more direct labor, and then they become finished goods. So I don't really test so much on this information, but here's a little difference between how they're different. It talks about the process cost system accumulates cost along the way. So at any given point, you need to know what costs are involved as you go. But when we do job order, the costs are not really added until all the way to the end process. Okay, so this is the intro for this chapter. And here's what we're going to be looking at. This is we're going to be making ice cream. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with raw materials, move them to mixing. And again, I'll add cost at this stage and then they'll move to packaging. Now, some will be ready and some won't be. So only the ones that are going to move to packaging will the cost flow over into the package department. And then when I'm done, it'll flow into the finished goods inventory. So here is an example of a uh, T account. I love T accounts. They help me understand everything. It's kind of the same thing as what we did in, in the previous chapter. We're going to start out with direct materials. We're going to move into WIP for mixing. Then I'll bring in labor and factory overhead. And however many units get transferred out, then they're going into the next department, which is packaging. Remember, when units get transferred from one department to the next, they are 100% complete. This is extremely important to remember. Then in packaging, so I'm bringing the cost in from the prior department. I'm now bringing factory overhead and direct labor again. And then when they're done, they're going to move to finished goods. So this is nothing more than a flow chart for this chapter. Honestly, guys, this chapter is one of my harder chapters. I'll do everything I can to make it as simple as possible for you. So this is video one, intro to process manufacturing.